So the first step is to restart your computer. Just simply restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage and then go to browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game from here. Still not working, again go to properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If not working, again go to properties, this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. If that does not work, in that case this time Put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game. If that does not work, open bell right folder, binaries, Win64. Now do the same thing with the with this exe file. Make a right click, select properties, and then run this as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, again this time put a check over here, Windows 8 hit apply click on ok if that does not work you can try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working make a right click go to properties and this time uncheck all these boxes so when you put a check if it is not working you can uncheck it and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and now follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then close this now launch the game if that does not work again go to properties this time type in dash d3 d11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work this time type in dash dx12 and now launch the game and then check still not working remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus you can just allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so go to this PC C drive if the game is installed in C drive if the game is installed in D or D, E drive go to D or E drive and then open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open bell right folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps uh, i think that's the two exe file now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and this time open bell right binary is win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add in my case both the exe 
files are already added so once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics drive now this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's the geforce experience so select your product type and then select the right series so whichever is your series select your series in my case it's strategy series so select your series and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver it should be by default and then click on search now click on download and then click on download once again now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen now click on agree and continue and then select custom select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the clean installation is done now you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so make sure that you restart your computer after this and then restart your computer uh, and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once it is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok 
Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to create a backup and then rename or delete the save game files. Now when you rename or delete the save game file, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can do this. So open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder, bell write folder, saved folder, save games. So here you can see save games. So we will go back and we will completely rename this bell write folder. So make a right click and then you can just rename this. You can rename it whatever you want. I will rename it as bell write dot old. Now you can launch the game now and then check when you launch the game if you are able to launch the game then it will create another bell write folder now if still you are facing the problem in that case again go to users folder username app data local and then open this you can simply delete this folder delete the bell write folder but you will lose all the game progress so delete the save game files and then launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and download x64 and run both the exe file. In my case, I have already installed it. So I might receive an error. It's telling me to restart my computer. System reboot is required. In my case, this is already installed. Now download x64 file as well. And then I run this file and install this x64 file. Again, if you see the repair, if you see install, click on install. If you see repair, click on repair and let the installation complete. Now, once the installation is complete, you will see a restart option like this. Just restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to. Now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings. Now for this, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first now go to options now over here you can select if this is set to full screen you can select full screen and if this is set to like 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p yeah, you can even lower down more and then you can even switch to window mode for many users uh, crash issue has been resolved by selecting window mode if you are able to launch the game you can select window mode maximum fps you can set it to 120 or maybe 90 or maybe even 60 and the preset if the preset is set to ultra in that case you can set it to high you can even try medium or low now scroll down now upscaling now if you are using dlss in that case uh, you can set the upscaling quality to quality now if you're not using dlss in that case you can select this this was my default option but if you're using dlss set it to quality now frame generation now if this is on turn this off now motion blur for many user disabling motion blur has worked so you can disable motion blur now apply the changes and then you can check the performance now still you are facing the problem the next step is to unplug external devices from your computer so if you have these devices connected to the computer disconnected also disconnect additional controller controller connected to the computer sometimes we have additional controller connected 
try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it and disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off also close other overlay applications so if you have discord geforce experience running so if you have any overlay application running i have geforce experience if you have discord running you can close it so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any other overclocking application close it and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also update your windows this is important do not ignore this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then download and install the bios now in case of laptop before you update the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer the charger is connected when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to another drive like d drive e drive f drive in that case try installing the game to c drive and then launch the game now if the game is already installed in c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel